Good morning, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Thursday, the 15th of September, 2022. It is 9.30 a.m. here in Australia. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all blessed. I'm going to try and make a nice little compact video with all the facts and just the amazing encouragement to show you the time that we're living in, brothers and sisters. Let's get into it. Very first thing I want to show you, a very encouraging verse in Isaiah chapter 66, verses 7. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Did you hear that, brothers and sisters? Before she travailed or before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. What does it say in Revelation 12? She brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God unto his throne. Brothers and sisters, this is the bride rapture. This is the first fruits. Okay, and we also know that in Revelation 4, Notice here, she's caught up to God and his throne. We do not meet Yeshua, Jesus Christ in the air. That's for the left behind, those who, who are alive and remain with the dead in Christ after they've gone through the great tribulation, shall meet Yeshua, Jesus Christ in the air and forever be with him. But the uh, the bride rapture, brothers and sisters, we, before she travailed, before she had pain, she gave birth to a man-child and we were caught up to God's throne. We see this again in Revelation 4 when we see, we see the door was open in heaven, just like on the ark. And then the voice said, come up here, I'm going to show you the things that are going to happen hereafter. Okay, we get to go first and we're going to see everything that happens hereafter. What's it say next? Immediately I was in the spirit before the throne of God. Okay, before a throne was set in heaven and one who sat on the throne. That's your difference, brothers and sisters. As you see um, um, that here in Isaiah, it says that um, she's going to be delivered of her man child. And just as Revelation 12 says, she brought forth the man-child to rule all nations with a rod of iron and a child was caught up to God and his throne. That is completely different to the, um, the multitude rapture, which has to witness the sun, moon and stars do their thing, the great earthquake, the men run into the caves. Okay, here in uh, Matthew 24, the bride rapture shall happen after all these are the beginning of sorrows between verse 8 and verse nine that's when the bride rapture will happen the beginning of sorrows brothers and sisters are what we're living in right now that started on march the 11th 2020 with the announcement of you know what that was the white horse these are all shadows of the first three horses the white red and black they're all shadows um right after verse eight it goes straight into verse nine where they're going to be delivered up delivered up and afflicted and kill you okay so we're going straight into the great tribulation in luke 21 we see that not a hair on our head will perish, brothers and sisters, in our patience possesses you, your souls. Okay, so here we go. We've got a great explanation down here. It says here, um, For as the days that were before the flood, okay, before as the days that were before the tribulation, brothers and sisters, they were eating and drinking. In other words, it's going to be a normal day. That is why every person who's had a dream and a vision of a rapture is always saying it's just a normal day, it's a sunny day, people are doing whatever, and then boom, okay? It's a normal day. As in the days before the tribulation, they were eating, drinking, marrying, partying, whatever, until the day that the bride entered into the heavenly ark. We see in Isaiah 26, 20, Come, my people, into my chambers, shut the door, and hide thyself for a little, until my indignation passes over. Brothers and sisters, you want to be in this bride rapture, okay? As in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving my giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, to the day that the bride entered into the chambers. And guess what, brothers and sisters, they knew not. They knew not until the flood came. So Noah went in, the door was shut, and they're still out there partying and drinking. You know why? Because it says, and then two in the field, one shall be taken, one shall be left. It is going to be absolutely um, like it is in the movies. We're going to be standing there, we're going to be working, we're going to be cooking dinner, whatever, we're going to be in the bed. One will be taken, one will be left. Okay, it's going to be instant. This is not the multitude rapture, which you're going to see all the things happening before. This is going to be normal days, and then there'll be two in the field, one will be taken, one will be left. Okay, that's why it says watch, 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 watch. You don't have to watch for the moon turning to blood, the sun going black as sackcloth, and the great earthquake, and the men running to the caves, do you? You'll see that with your eyes. 
Okay, so this is why it says, be watched therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord comes. That's why we are commanded to watch. Okay, this is different than the um, um, Revelation 6 when you've got the... Um, okay, we'll go to Revelation 6 quickly. Okay, so you've got the souls under the altar, okay? Remember they are asked... Um, they asked, how long, O Lord, holy and true, do you not judge and avenge our blood on the earth, on those that uh, spilt our blood, right? And what does Father God give them? White robes, brothers and sisters. Okay, the bride that is alive here at the moment and the dead, in, the de the dead souls under the altar, right? The martyred souls, they are the f we're going to be the first fruits, brothers and sisters. And next will be the multitude rapture, which will be the dead in Christ from since Adam, and those that are alive and rem that have remained through the great tribulation okay notice here it says that the white robes were given to them and then they should rest for a little season this little season is the same as it is in Isaiah 26 20 where it says to come into his chambers and um, hide for a little moment the little season brothers and sisters is 45 days the reason I know that is is a season is three months okay 90 days half of that is 45 days and the reason why that's so perfect is if you take um february 4th 2019 that is when the abrahamic accords were signed by uh the pope and um a jewish guy and a muslim guy right and they signed that and exactly 1290 days later is october the first Okay, minus seven days from October the 1st, you have September 24. Just like Haggai says, on the 24th day of the ninth month, I will shake the heavens and the earth, says the Lord. Okay, so um, so on the 24th of September, I believe very much that the bride shall be taken. Two in the field, one left, uh, one taken, one left. Okay, it's going to be immediate and there's going to be, that's what they need their distractions for up in the sky, brothers and sisters. Everything that's going on up there with the DART, with NASA, with the satellites, everything, they're preparing. They know, they absolutely know the time that we're living in and that they have to have a great distraction prepared. Like I said, it's more than likely that they're going to cause a face a fake alien invasion to uh, excuse it so that people have a logical excuse of why these people had vanished. Okay, so these people under the under the altar have to wait a little season, which is 45 days, brothers and sisters. Remember, we've got 1,290 days from the signing of that, um, the covenant, Abrahamic Accord, in the 4th of February, 2019, goes to the 1st of August, uh, sorry, the 1st of October, 2022, minus the seven days warning, as in the days of Noah, will be the 24th of September. We shall be taken on the 24th of September, the bride, the ones who are watching, like Hebrews 9.24 says, those that are looking for Jesus, he'll appear a second time unto them. Okay, and then from um, the 24th of September to the blood moon on the, 9th, uh, on the 8th of November, brothers and sisters, is 45 days. That's the extra 40 to 5 days that Daniel said, blessed are those who wait for the 1,350 35 days okay that's the blessed hope right there and so this is amazing brothers and sisters and you know and I know around the world we've already been told by that German Chancellor guy that a, the September 24th will be a day where everybody will say I know exactly where I was when this happened when this great event happened what better event to happen than the bride rapture then the taking away of those that have been searching and looking and loving and believing on this great hope Okay, you want to be on this first train out of here, brothers and sisters. That is the difference. The bride is immediately in the spirit before the throne of God. And the guests or the left behind, brothers and sisters, shall be raptured into the air with the dead of Christ to meet Yeshua Jesus Christ in the air and then go into heaven. Okay, and forever be with the Lord. That is the difference. You want to be a bride. You want to be a faithful bride. The only reason the five wise virgins are wise is because their lamps are full of oil, which is belief, faith, and trust in the promise that God gave us that he's going to deliver us, spare us, and let us escape from the hour of trial that's coming upon the whole world. God bless you. Look up. September 24, 924. I will shake the heavens and the earth on this day. God bless you. Keep studying. I love you. Bye.